Hello, let's read the New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report and ask the question, where are the tax caps? Why does the state have tax caps and we don't? What about all this 421A exemption, billions of dollars? What about NYU and Columbia paying no property tax? Just keep watching because it just gets more and more amazing. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 1 Initial Recommendations 63 Executive Summary New York City is home to a mosaic of real property, from the iconic skyscrapers that shape its skyline to the varied domiciles that house its 8.6 million residents, the residential dwellings, office buildings, and small business corridors that line its streets contribute to New York's diversity of industry, rich culture, and vibrancy of its neighborhoods, though the topography of the city's properties may vary from neighborhood to neighborhood, there is one common thread that stitches most of them together, the obligation to pay property taxes. While this connection may bind properties together at an elemental level, commonalities beyond that can be quite limited. A close look at New York City's property tax system will show that there can be vast differences in how properties are classified, valued, and assessed, lending credence to the widely held characterization that the system is overly complex, opaque, and arcane. The real property tax is an integral part of local government budgets. Revenues derived from them help fund essential public services such as education, public safety, infrastructure, and much more. In New York City, the property tax comprises approximately 45% of the city's tax revenue, enabling the delivery of top-notch services to those who live, work, and visit the city. As a result, it is difficult to overstate the importance of the property tax, but the impact on those who bear the responsibility of paying it must not be overlooked. Any property tax system should be fair, predictable and transparent, and should not induce displacement among long-term homeowners and renters from the neighborhoods they've called home. These principles should be at the center of any system's design but this seemingly
New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 1. 2. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. January 31, 2020. Initial Recommendations 63. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 5. 6. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 7. 8. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. Executive Summary. New York City is home to a mosaic of real property. From the iconic skyscrapers that shape its skyline to the varied do. Missiles that house its 8.6 million residents. The residential, dwellings, office buildings, and small business corridors that line its streets contribute to New York's diversity of industry, rich culture, and vibrancy of its neighborhoods. Though the topography of the city's properties may vary from neighborhood to neighborhood, there is one common thread that stitches most of them together, the obliga tn to pay property taxes. While this connection may bind properties together at an elemental level, commonalities beyond that can be quite limited. A close look at New York City's property tax system will show that there can be vast differences in how properties are classified, valued, and as assessed, lending credence to the widely held characterizer. TN that the system is overly complex, opaque, and arcane. The real property tax is an integral part of local government budgets. Revenues derived from them help fund s essential public services such as education, public safety, infrastructure, and much more. In New York City, the Prop. 30 tax comprises approximately 45% of the city's tax revenue, enabling the delivery of top-notch services to those who live, work, and visit the city. As a result, it is DIF difficult to overstate the importance of the property tax. But the impact on those who bear the responsibility of paying it must not be overlooked. Any property tax system should be fair, predictable and transparent, and should not induce displacement among long-term homeowners and renters from the neighborhoods they've called home. These principles should be at the center of any system's design. But this seemingly universal sentiment is constrained by a fundamental chal. Lynch, achieving a delicate balance between sustaining and enhancing essential government services that city res. I dense expect while ensuring that the tax burden does not place an enormous strain on household budgets. Designing the ideal property tax system has confounded public officials at all levels and branches of government for decades. Indeed, in the lead up to the enactment of today's system, property tax reform engendered fiesta bait among policymakers as they struggled with designing a system that would not saddle homeowners with exorbitant tax bills. The long road to property tax reform, which followed the foundational 1975 Court of Appeals decision, Hellestein v. Assessor of the Town of Islip that essentially struck down the use of fractional assessments in valuing properties, took six years and was marked by legislative extensions creation of a temporary legislative commission to study reform proposals, a gubernatorial veto of reform legislation, and an override of that veto. What emerged from the tumultuous process was today's system made up of four property classes with market valuation restrictions. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 9. Different assessment ratios. Year-over-year caps in growth. Transition mechanisms a complicated class share system, and more. The system was not a panacea. In fact, just one decade after its enactment, it was criticized for causing inequities among property owners. In establishing the New York City Real Property Tax Reform Commission in 1993, the last Gov. Ehrman appointed commission to study New York City's property tax system. Then Mayor David Dinkins spoke of the need for property tax reform saying that, after a decade of experience, a number of profound problems are visible. The commission cited many issues that plagued the CIS. Tem, e.g., the treatment of coop and condominium owners, relative to owners of 1-3 family homes. The commission's report was issued on December 30, 1993, very close to the 
official start of a new mayoral administration. While the 1993 Commission's work did not trigger a wholesale reform of the system, it is believed to have aided in the enactment of the Cooperative and Condominium Property Tax Abatement Program, Coop Condo Tax Abatement, in 1996. With no significant reform effort underway, the discrepancies persisted and only became more pronounced with the passage of time. Today, the chorus of voices decrying the system as inequi table has multiplied. While there is little debate over the need for reform, there is considerable debate about the extent to which the system unfairly treats certain property classes and properties within those classes, as well as the prescriptive remedies needed to rationalize the system. On May 31, 2018, Mayor Bill de Blasio and City Council speak. Er Corey Johnson established the New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform, the commission, in order to make the system simpler, clearer, and fairer, while ensuring that there is no reduction in revenue used to fund essential city services, the commission's mandate was to evaluate all aspects of the property system including, but not limited to, the property tax classification system, methods of determining property market values and as assessments, treatment of property value increases, relief for low-income and senior homeowners and the calculation of tax rates. In empaneling the commission, Mayor de Blasio and Speaker Johnson sought to assemble a group of X. Perts with diverse backgrounds who could recommend a comprehensive and thoughtful overhaul of the system. The commission held five public hearings across the city, three hearings with invited experts, and two public meetings to hear an overview of the current system and the VAR. IS policy levers to consider while pursuing reform. The feedback received from the public and experts generally centered on the amount of property taxes paid relative to market value comparisons of property tax bills across neighborhoods, and difficulty with understanding how the system works. Many of the issues highlighted by those who testified could be traced back to flaws in current law, including the undervaluation of some coops and condomini, ums as a result of state law restrictions that require that they be valued as if they were rental properties, rather than based on comparable sales. The assessed value growth caps that have caused dis Tortions in the effective tax rates taxes paid per $100 of sales based market value of 1 minus 3 family homes. Properties that have experienced significant appreciation have lower effective tax rates than new homes or homes whose value has remained relatively flat. The Commission spent more than a year analyzing data and examining various reform models that comport with its mandate, based on the extensive deliberations of commission members, ex officio members and staff. The commission is advancing initial recommendations in this preliminary report that address inequities in the system and provide the commission's appointing authorities and policymakers with a roadmap to reform. 10 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. The commission reached consensus on 10 initial recommendations. 1. The commission recommends moving coops condominiums and rental buildings with up to 10 units into a new residential class along with 1-3 family homes. The property tax system would continue to consist of four classes of property, residential, large rentals, utilities, and commercial. 2. The Commission recommends using a sales-based methodology to value all properties in the RESI. Dential class. 3. The Commission recommends assessing every property in the residential class at its full market value. 4. The Commission recommends that annual market value changes in the new residential class be phased in over five years at a rate of 20% per year, and that assessed value growth caps should be eliminated. 5. The Commission recommends creating a partial homestead exemption for primary resident owners with income below a certain threshold. The exemption would be available to all eligible primary resident owners in the residential class and would replace the current coop condo tax abatement. 6. The Commission recommends creating a circuit breaker within the property tax system to lower the property tax burden on low-income primary resident owners, based on the ratio of property tax paid to income. 7. 
the Commission recommends replacing the current class share system with a system that pre prioritizes predictable and transparent tax rates for property owners. The new system would freeze the relationship of tax rates among the tax classes for five year periods, after which time the city would conduct a mandated study to analyze if adjustments need to be made to maintain consensus. Tenancy in the share of taxes relative to fair market value borne by each tax class. 8. The Commission recommends that current valuation methods should be maintained for properties. Not in the new residential class rental buildings with more than 10 units. Utilities. And commercial. 9. The Commission recommends a gradual transition to the new system for current owners. With an immediate transition into the new system whenever a property in the new residential class is sold. 10. The Commission recommends instituting comprehensive reviews of the property tax system. Every 10 years. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 11. Further details on the Commission's recommendations can be found in the main body of this report. This is a preliminary report and a final report will follow. This preliminary report is presented as a framework for reform and is intended to elicit comments from the general public and all stakeholders so that a set of final recommendations can be issued. To that end, the Commission will hold another round of hearings, one in each borough, to solicit feedback on the contents of this preliminary report. The hearing schedule is being developed and, once finalized, will be available on the Commission website at https colon slash slash www1.nyc.gov slash site slash property tax reform slash index page. The Commission encourages mem boards of the public to attend the hearings and present their opinions. As the Commission continues to engage the public for comment on the 10 initial recommendations outlined in this report, it will also be meeting regularly to reach consensus on outstanding issues and additional items that will be raised through the stakeholder engagement and public hearing processes. For example, the Commission recognizes that the incidence of the property tax on renters is a complex issue and experts convened at public hearings sponsored by the Commission confirmed that it is hard to systematically measure and more work needs to be done. Additional issues that the Commerce Cyan will discuss include, but are not limited to, ending fractional assessments for properties not in the new residential class, the length of the period for transitioning to the new system, and defining the parameters of the targeted owner relief programs. Central to this next phase of the Commission's work will be to address these issues within the mandate to ensure that reform does not result in a reduction in revenue. For almost 40 years, New York City's property tax system has dictated how myriad properties are taxed and its effects, for better or worse, have affected all corners of the city. The city's elected leadership determined that it was time for a seri. OUS review. The Commission has undertaken that review with diligence, thoughtfulness, and creativity and presents this preliminary report to guide serious discussions on how best to reform the system. 12 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 13. 14 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. Introduction. 16 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. Hearings and meetings The Commission held its first public meeting on July 20, 2018. At that meeting the Department of Finance provided a primer about the current property tax system. Point two, the second meeting, held on September 4, 2018, featured a presentation from the City Council Finance Division team on the levers that can be used to reform the system. 3. The Commission then held a series of public hearings in each borough to solicit specific feedback about the challenges taxpayers face in neighborhoods across the city. The first such hearing was held on Staten Island on September 27, 20,184, followed by Queens on October 3, 20,185, the Bronx on October 11, 20,186 Brooklyn on October 15, 20,187, and Manhattan on October 23, 20,188.
the Commission then convened hearings of experts on a variety of subjects that Commission members wanted to hear more about. Who pays the property tax? And how the property tax impacts land and housing prices and the rent charge to tenants. Living in Rental Properties, December 13, 2018. Available at https colon slash slash councilneet.vbit.com slash player.php question mark hash equals 4gjh2sengvis 6 colon 18 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. 2. A brief history under New York's municipal home rule structure. The state retains authority of New York City's over major changes in taxation for New York City. Point 9. This section provides a short property tax system history New York City property tax system and a condensed summary of the important changes that have occurred throughout the years 1940s to 1960s New York State Real Property Tax Law RPTL which currently governs how prop 30 taxes are administered in New York State first became effective in 1959 prior to that property tax administration was controlled by a variety of boards as well as federal, state, and local assessment practices. The primary objective of the RPTL was to consolidate all the general laws relating to real property assessment and taxation into a single law, and it served as a simplified and chronological language upon which future amendments were based. Point 10 RPTL also governs most methods by which New York City is allowed to administer and collect property taxes in New York City. Specifically, there was a major housing shortage following World War II. This shortage occurred both because housing production had stalled during the war in order to redirect materials and labor to the war effort. And many soldiers returning from the front sought homes in the city. Point one one to ease the burden the shortage was imposing on homeowners who were seeing the values of the properties and thus the taxes rise sharply. The city followed a policy of ignoring increases in the market values of those homes. Point one two to ease the burden on renters. The city readopted rent control policies during World War II that had first been adopted in 1920, but had expired in 1929.13 as the shortage eased in the late 1940s and 1950s. The city faced another crisis, the flight of the middle class to the suburbs.14 to encourage homeowners to remain in the city. The City. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 19. Froze their assessments. Reasoning in part that the policy. Achieved parity between homeowners and renters still pro. Protected by rent control.15. In 1960, the state legislature reconstituted the State Board of Equalization and Assessment as a permanent agent. Psi within the Office for Local Government.16 known today as the New York State Office of Real Property Tax Services, ORPTS. The office determines final special franchise val, UES and state equalization rates, which are ratios of as assessed value over the market value of real property.17. The equalization rates serve as a measure of a municipality's level of assessment, which determines how school district or county taxes are distributed. Distributing the tax burr, then based on assessed values would be incorrect when assessed values relate differently to market value. Equalization rates are used to translate assessed values into market values for the purpose of distributing the tax levy. 18. 1970s. Tax reform, and its aftermath. Like New York City, many jurisdictions in New York State as assessed property values at a fraction of the market value. And the practice led to inequities in many towns and cities. Across the state.19 in 1974, Jerome and Pauline Hellerstein sued the town of Islip, arguing that fractional assessments violated section 306 of the RPTL 20, which mandated that all real property be assessed at full market value. In 1975, New York's Court of Appeals agreed with the plaintiffs, finding that the fractional assessment system would lead to and mask significant inequities. Quote dot dot. T. He percentage of undervaluation is rarely a matter of common knowledge, so that it is extremely difficult to ascertain whether there is 
uniformity in the proportion or whether through incompetence, favoritism, or corruption of the assessors, some portions of the taxpaying body are bearing the other's burdens, as between either individuals or local groups, 21. The court acknowledged, however, the fiscal chaos, 22, that might result from the immediate upending of the assess meant practice and required Islip to reassess all of its prop. But he's at full value within 36 months, allotting what it saw as a reasonable time period for orderly compliance. The court's decision affected the whole state, however, and the state legislature granted itself a four-year extension to meet the court's order, as it needed more time to sort out a difficult political situation. In 1977, Governor Hugh Carey created a temporary commission on real property taxation to explore means of protecting homeowners from large tax increases. Legislators understood that the full market value taxation Hellestein called for was likely to cause political backlash because a state assembly task force that stood IED the issue in 1979 found that the Hellestein mandate would double property tax bills for homeowners in Brook, Lynn, Queens, and Staten Island. Point two three as homeowners began to voice the concerns, members of the New York Senate and Assembly concluded that the change ordered by the Hell Erstein Court was not politically viable. Point two four. 20 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. After granting itself several additional extensions to study the issue, the legislature passed a tax reform bill known as S7000A in 1981, overriding a veto from Governor Hugh Carey, who argued that the bill would result in the continuation of the inequitable, chaotic, and haphazard assess meant practices which homeowners have been subjected to. For many years, S7000A repealed Section 306 of the RPTL 25, and allowed all municipalities, aside from New York City, and municipalities in Nassau County, to continue the frac. Tynal assessment practices the court had struck down as violating that Section 26 in New York City and Nassau County. However, S7000A set up four distinct classes for one two. Three family homes class 1. Larger residential buildings. Both rental and coops and condominiums class 2. Util. Ateez class 3. And commercial property class 4. And. Allowed each class to be assessed at different percentages. Of estimated market value. The two different assessment. Systems. One for New York City and Nassau County and one. For the rest of the state. Were the result of a comprise B. Between Governor Carey's desire for full value assessment and the state Senate's aim of making as few changes to assessment practices as possible, S7000A set up a class share system to allocate the tax levy among the classes. The system used 1981 as the base year for the class shares, perpetuating the tax advantaged class 1 properties accumulated up to that year. 27 The class shares are adjusted each year for changes to each tax class share of market value due to relative market value growth. Shares are further adjusted for physical changes such as new con, destruction, demolition, restoration of properties to the as, assessment role, and properties moving from one tax class to another. Additionally, the city council could increase or decrease the resulting class shares by up to 5%.28. The city council used its discretion to favor class 1. 29. At the same time it provided city council discretion on class shares. S7000A required ORPTS to survey market values every two years, and adjust class shares based on changes in the market value represented by each class. 0. By 1989, ORPTS had completed no surveys and market val. U shares had remained at the 1981 level, favoring class 1, which had appreciated faster than the other classes. In 1989, the state legislature put in place the current class share system by resetting the base year for the calculation to city fiscal year 1990, essentially preserving the status quo at the time. The annual growth rate of class shares was capped at 5%. The city may request legislative authorization from the state to lower the class share cap. 
Below 5% and the city council has the discretion to distribute the excess share to other tax classes to the benefit of class 1 properties. S7000A cap the growth of assessed values due to market conditions, so called equalization changes, of no more than 6% in any one year, or no more than 20% cumulatively. Over any five years. Point three one. S7000 OOA also provided a tax advantage to buildings held in coupe and condo form through section 581 of RPTL, which requires the city to value those properties as if they were rental properties, rather than by looking at the recent New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 21. Sales of comparable units. Point three two specifically. Section 581 states, notwithstanding any other provision of law, real property, owned or leased by a coop corporation or on a condomine, on basis shall be assessed for purposes of this chapter, at a sum not exceeding the assessment which would be placed upon such parcel were the parcel not owned or leased by a coop corporation or on a condominium basis. 33. To satisfy Section 581, the New York City Department of Phi. Nance DOF, identify as comparable rental buildings, based, on factors such as location, amenities, and size. DOF then, uses the net rental income of the comparable properties, or gross rental income for smaller buildings in class 2, to determine the value of coupe and condo buildings. In PRAC, TICE, this statutory requirement results in undervaluation of, new and high price buildings that lack an appropriate set of comparable rental properties. 34. Asians. The caps are set at no more than 8% over one year, or no more than 30% cumulatively over any five years. 35 in addition. In 1996, the state legislature created the Coop Condo Tax Abatement, intended to better align taxation of Class 2 buildings held in Cooper Condo, form with Class 1.36 currently. This abatement is only a veil able to primary resident owners.37. In addition to the coupe condo tax abatement, NYS tax law contains a variety of other tax expenditure programs pro fitting tax exemptions and abatements. The purpose of the programs include providing tax relief to property owners based on income, age, disability, and veteran status.38 they also provide property tax breaks to businesses for econom. I see development and to developers for the development and rehabilitation of multifamily housing. In the early 1990s, assessed value growth caps were en acted for rental buildings of 4 to 10 units and coup and condo buildings with 2 to 10 units, which apply to equalization changes only, not changes due to physical alter. 22 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 23. 24 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. The current property tax system calculation overview to calculate the property tax liability for any given property. The New York City Department of Finance DOF undertakes eight steps. 1. DOF categorizes the property within one of the four property classes. 2. The OF estimates the market value as specifically defined under state law. The OF value of the property. 3. The OF applies assessment ratios to determine assessed value, AV. 4. The OF applies growth caps and phase ins to the AV to calculate billable AV. 5. The OF subtracts exemptions to arrive at taxable billable AV. 6. The OF multiplies taxable billable AV by the class tax rate to determine the tax liability. 7. The OF calculates the final tax bill by subtracting tax abatements from the tax liability. 39. 8. The OF administers billing and collection. 39 NYC. DEPT of Finance. Presentation, New York Property Tax System Background. July 20, 2018. Available at https colon slash slash perma dot cc slash lm 2 x dash fhqp new york city advisory commission on property tax reform preliminary report 25
Step 1, classification of the property into one of the four classes. Class 1 originally consisted of 1-3 family homes. But over time, small condo developments and other property types were added by statute, including some types of mixed-use properties, bungalows and vacant land. Point 40 Class 2 consists of all other residential properties not in Class 1, such as rental buildings, coops and condos. Class 3 includes property of regulated utilities and special franchise properties. They hold such as cable television providers that place their equipment on or under city streets. Class 4 consists of all other properties, which range from gas stations and stores, to factories and warehouse, s, to hotels and office skyscrapers. Point four one. Table 1 summarizes the distribution of taxable parcels and residential units among the four classes. Table 1, Universe of Taxable Parcels. FY 2019. Tax class property type parcels residential units. 1, 1, 3 family homes 703206-1095061. 2 rental buildings, coops, condos 6705000192292. 3 utilities 290. 4 commercial 97,571. Total 1,471,567. Source, New York City Department of Finance. Division of Tax Policy Analytical File. Notes, restricted to taxable billable properties. Class 1 also includes several other small residential property types. Excludes Class 2 condos smaller than 100 square feet, e.g. storage units. Parking. Vacant land is in Class 1 or Class 4. Class 4 includes some utilities. A parcel is defined as a unit for coops and as a tax lot for all other. Property types with tax lot defined as unique combination of borough. Block and lot identifiers. Or a BBL. 40 Act of Dec. 3. 1981. CH. 1057. 1981 NY. Laws 220. McKinney. Codified at Section 1802. Governor's Bill Jacket. P. 31. Ebo. 25 years after. Section 7000 A. Supra Note at 15. 41 for a detailed definition of tax classes. CNYCDOF Annual Report of the New York City Property Tax. Fiscal Year 2018. Appendix A. HTTPS. www.nyc.gov slash assets slash finance slash downloads slash pdf slash reports slash reports dash property dash tax slash nice underscore property underscore phi 18 dot pdf. 26 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. Step 2. Estimation of DOF Value. DOF estimates the value of a property through a variety of generally accepted methods. Depending upon the type of property, there are four main approaches. 42. 1. Comparable sales, determines value based on recent sales, the comparable properties. 2. Net income capitalization, determines value based on the ratio between a property's current net income and a capitalization rate, which is designed to approximate an investor's expected annu al rate of return on an income-producing property. 3. Gross income multiplier, determines value based on a multiple of gross income. 4. Cost, estimates value using the value of the land plus the cost of constructing the buildings and other improvements on the land. Adjusted for depreciation. This approach is used for utilities. The valuation of special franchise property is determined by the New York State Office of Real Property Tax Services, ORPTS. Table 2 summarizes DOF valuation methods by property type. Table 2, DOF valuation methods. Tax class property type methodology for computing DOF value. 1. 1. 3 family homes comparable sales. Net income capitalization of comparable rental. Cooperatives and condominiums, 11 plus units. Income. 2. Large rentals, 11 plus units. Net income capitalization. Gross income multiplier based on available rent. 2A, 2B small rentals, 4 minus 10 units. Al income. Small cooperatives and condominiums, 2 minus 10 gross income multiplier based on comparable. 2C. Units, rental income. Cost valuation of special franchise property. Three utilities. 
determined by ORPTS. For commercial property net income capitalization. Source, New York City Department of Finance. Presentation, New York Property Tax System Background. July 20, 2018. Available at https colon slash slash perma dot cc slash lm 2 x dash fhqp 42 nyc DEPT of finance presentation New York property tax system background July 20, 2018 available at https colon slash slash perma dot cc slash lm 2 x dash fhqp New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 27. There are multiple legal constraints that DOF faces in value. In different property types. Section 581 of the New York State Real Property Tax. Law, RPTL, requires that coupes and condos be valued. As if they were rental properties. This can result in. 43. Undervaluation. Especially for high-end parcels due to difficulty in finding appropriate comparable rental buildings. Additionally, comparable rental buildings may have income constrained by rent stabilization laws, which further contributes to undervaluation. Most 2A, 2B small rentals are not legally required to file detailed accountings of income and expenses. Therefore, income is estimated from parcels that do file, and a multiplier is derived from typical sales. Within a neighborhood, the courts have found the use of anticipated future expected income, i.e., discounted cash flow method, to value income producing properties as specular. Tyvon have expressed a preference for the direct capitalization of current earned income. The mass appraisal DOF conducts for commercial properties is consistent with the court's preference and uses cur rent income to derive capitalization rates. These rates a higher than market capitalization rates utilized by single parcel appraisers and less likely to be chal lenged market capitalization rates include speculative purchases made with the intention of building con version renovation and or increases in resale value which dof does not incorporate into its valuations moreover dof does not receive detailed lease struck tour information from commercial properties which can affect a parcel's market sale price by constraining future income. The OF derives capitalization rates for large apartment buildings in a similar manner to commercial prop. 30s. Lease structures may play a lesser role in determining a large rental building's market sale price. Given the short-term nature of the leases, the anticipated stability of the income stream may be con. Cited in deriving a capitalization rate, however, Devil, hopping mass appraisal assumptions about expectations of future income increases, which are characteristic of speculative purchases involving renovations or conver. Science is problematic and not favored by the courts. Step 3. Application of assessment ratios, actual AV. The calculation of taxable value starts by multiplying as assessment ratios by DOF value to obtain actual AVs. B. The OF commissioner has the discretion to set the assess. Mend ratios within each class.44 between 1991 and 2007. The assessment ratio for class 1 was 8%. In 2007, the commissioner lowered the class 1 ratio to 6%. And it has remained at this level. The assessment ratio for all other classes is 45%. As shown in Table 3. Step 4. Application of caps and phase-ins transitional and billable AV. The property tax system contains AV growth caps and phase-ins to smooth tax fluctuations. Table 3 details the rules for application of these growth caps and phase-ins by tax class. Class 1 and Class 2A, 2B, 2C, 4, 5 properties are governed by AV growth caps, which are applied to changes derived from Market conditions, equalization, as opposed to physical changes. Caps are more stringent for class 1, 6% in a single year or 20% over 5 years than for small apartment buildings in class 2, 8% in a single year or 30% over 5 years. Increases derived from physical changes made to properties are not phased in, become taxable immediately and are not subject to AV growth caps. However, 
the assessment ratio of physical additions and improvements for small class 2 properties is 15% instead of 45%. The result of these calculations is the billable AV. 43C text accompanying N. 32. 44 NYC. DEPT of Finance. Presentation, New York Property Tax System Background. July 20, 2018. Available at https colon slash slash perma.cc slash lm2x-fhqp. 45 Class 2A, 2B, 2C refers to small rental buildings with 4 minus 6 units. Small rental buildings with 7 minus 10 units and small coupe and condo buildings with 2-10 units, respectively. 28 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. For all other Class 2 and Class 4 properties. Changes in actual AVs DRIV. EN by market conditions, equalization changes, phase in over 5 years. Which creates transitional AVs. The phase in means the current year. Transitional AV includes 20% of equalization changes from the pre seeding years assessment as well as 20% of equalization changes from each of the previous four years. Value from physical changes to the properties is not phased in and is added to actual and transitional AVs at the assessment ratio of 45%. Table 3, Assessment Ratios, AV Growth Caps, and AV Phase in Rules by Property Type. Target assessment. Tax class property type ratio. Assess to assessment rules, caps and phase-ins. DOF value. AV is set to a maximum of 6% of DOF value. Subject to caps on AV growth. 1. 1. 3 family homes 6%. From equalization changes of 6% annually are 20% over 5 years. Coops and condos actual AV is 45% of DOF value. Transitional AV reflects growth from DOF. 11 plus units value changes phased in over 5 years. If actual AV after actual exemptions. 2. Large rentals is less than the transitional AV after transitional exemptions. Then billable. AV is set to actual AV. Otherwise billable AV is set to transitional AV. 11 plus units. Small rentals. 2A, 2B. 4 minus 10 units. AV is set to a maximum of 45% of DOF value. Subject to caps on AV growth. From equalization changes of 8% annually are 30% over 5 years. Small coupes and condos 45%. 2C. 2 minus 10 units. 3 utilities AV is 45% of value. Actual AV is 45% of DOF value. Transitional AV reflects growth from market. Value changes phased in over 5 years. If actual AV after actual exemptions for commercial is less than the transitional AV after transitional exemptions, then billable AV is set to actual AV. Otherwise billable AV is set to transitional AV. Step 5. Subtraction of exemptions, taxable billable AV. Various laws provide a wide array of real property tax exemptions for a variety of purposes. The major categories are housing development, economic development, and individual assistance. For example, housing. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 29. Development programs include exemptions granted for the development of multiple dwellings, e.g. the 421A and Affordable New York programs, and the rehabilitation, e.g. the J51 program. Economic development. Exemptions include similar programs targeted at commercial buildings, e.g., the industrial and commercial abatement program. Exemptions are subtracted from billable AVs to obtain taxable billable AVs, resulting in a lower taxable value. 46. Step 6 Class tax rates and class shares. Taxable billable AVs are multiplied by the class specific tax rates to obtain the tax liability. The overall New York City property tax rate is set annually as part of New York City's budget process as specified in the New York City Charter. Sec. TN 1516 of the NYC Charter states. Fixing of tax rates. A. The Council shall fix the annual tax rates immediately upon the approval of the budget pursuant to Section 254. 
the council shall deduct the total amount of receipts as estimated by the mayor from the amount of the budget for the ensuing fiscal year, and shall cause to be raised by tax on real property such sum as shall be as nearly as possible but not less than the balance so arrived at by fixing tax rates in cents and thou cents of a cent upon each dollar of assessed valuation that tax rates shall be such to produce a balanced budget within generally accepted accounting principles for municipalities article 8 section 10 e of the new york state constitution imposes a limit to the amount of property tax to fund operating expenses excluding debt service the limit is 2.5% of total market value of all property in the city averaged over the previous 5 years based on full market valuations estimated by ORPTS the tax rate is applied to the total taxable billable AV to raise the nesses sari funds to balance the budget after all other revenues are determined as a matter of policy choice the property tax rate does not change often in recent history the city raised the rate from 10.366% to 12.283 percent or equivalently to $12.283 per $100 of AV in January 2003 the 46 the taxable billable assessed value is sent to the taxpayer who may file a request for independent review by the city's tax commission an agency separate from the department of finance chttps www1.nyc.gov slash site slash tax commission slash about slash challenging dash notice dash of dash property dash value dot page semicolon https colon slash slash www1.nice.gov slash site slash tax commission slash reports slash reductions dot page 30 new york city advisory commission on property tax reform preliminary report rate was lowered to 11.423% for New York City fiscal year, FY, 2008 and raised back to 12.283% in the second half of FY 2009, January 2009. The rate has not changed since 0.47. The overall tax rate is a weighted average of class-specific tax rates, with weights given by each class share of the levy, as such. It is not a tax rate applied directly to an individual's bill. The steps below provide a simplified version of the calcula. Tie-ins that determine the tax rates reported in the tax bills, 48. I. Plus change in market value, MV, share equals MV share current FY per megavolt share FY 1990. This step calculates the percentage change of each class 10549 share relative to FY 1990. E. C. Current base proportion, CBP, equals class share FY 1991 x class change in MV share. In general, classes that gain market value share, from step I, see an increase in the class share. The formula reported, above calculates the CBP, which cannot grow in excess of 5% of the preceding year's class share, unless state leg. As Lation sets a different percentage. Note that these calculations are only affected by market value estimates, not by AVs, and associated ratios, caps, phase-ins, and exemptions, e, c, last share equals CBP plus adjustments for physical changes. This step determines the share of the levy attributable to each class. The CBP is adjusted for physical changes within the class new development, demolition, and alterations to arrive at the adjusted base proportion, ABP. Also known as the class share, IV. TOTAL levy equals total taxable billable AVX overall tax rate, 12.283%. This step determines the total amount of levy. V. C. Class levy equals total levy X class share. This step allocates the total levy proportionally to each class share. By class tax rate equals class levy, class taxable billable AV. The class rate is determined dividing the class levy by the class taxable billable AV. Taxable billable AVs are determined by DOF in May of each year in the final assessment role. Other things equal class tax rates increase if the class levy grows faster than the class taxable billable AV, e.g., because of market values changes, AV growth caps exemptions, etc., in city fiscal year 2020. 
The property tax rates are Class 1 21.167%, Class 2 12.473%, Class 3 12.536%, Class 4 10.537%, 50. 47 CNYC Office of Management and Budget, 2019, Tax Revenue Forecasting Documentation. Financial Plan FY 2017-2021. I6. HTTPS colon slash slash www1.nyc.gov slash assets slash om slash down dash. Load slash PDF slash methodology dash 2019 dash 05 dot PDF for the history of tax rates from FY 83 to FY 19. 48 The detailed calculations are available in NYC Office of Management and Budget, 2019, Tax Revenue Forecasting Documentation. Financial Plan FY 2017-2021. PP.23-25. HTTPS colon slash slash www.nyc.gov slash assets slash om slash download slash PDF slash methodology dash 2019-05.pdf. 49. The market value is determined by dividing the taxable billable assessed value for each class from the prior year's assessment role by ORPTS published class equal. Ization rates for that role. The detailed calculations are available in NYC Office of Management and Budget, 2019, Tax Revenue Forecasting Documentation. Financial Plan FY. 2017-2021. P. 24. 50 NYC. DEPT Finance. Property tax rates. Available at https colon slash slash www.nyc.gov slash site slash finance slash taxes slash property dash tax dash rates dot page. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 31. Table 4. Historical Property Tax Rates. FY 2005 FY 2020. Fiscal year overall class 1 class 2 class 3 class 4. 2005 12.283 15.094 12.216 12.553 11.558. 2006 12.283 15.746 12.396 12.309 11.306. 2007 12.283 16.118 12.737 12.007 10.997. 2008 11.423 15.434 11.928 11.577 10.059 2009 first half 11.423 15.605 12.139 11.937 2009 second half 12.283 16.787 13.053 12.539 2010 12.283 17.08 813.241 12.743 10.426 2010 12.283 17.3 12.283 18.205 13.433 12.473 10.152 2013 12.283 18.156 19.18 12.283 19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.19.
Source https colon slash slash www.nyc.gov slash site slash finance slash taxes slash property dash tax dash rates dot page. It is important to note that class tax rates are not a direct measure of tax burden because assessment ratios and valuation methodologies differ by class. Step 7. Subtraction of abatements. Abatements differ from exemptions. While exemptions reduce the taxable billable AV. Abatements, on the other hand, are a dollar-for-dollar tax reduction if a taxpayer is eligible for a $1,000 abatement. It is applied by subtracting $1,000 from the tax bill. The final property tax bill is determined by the taxable billable AV multiplied by the applicable tax rate. Less any abatements that an owner is entitled to receive. There are major abatement programs for housing rehabilitation, J51. Economic Development, Industrial and Commercial Abatement Program, as well as for individual assistance including the Coop Condo Tax Abatement. Step 8, Billing and Collection. The property tax year begins in July, the same as the city's fiscal year. If the city's budget for the new fiscal year is not adopted by June 5th, the EOF bills taxpayers based on prior year tax rates. Point five one. The setting of rates can also be delayed if state legislation is enacted to cap class share changes at a level lower than the 5% cap applicable to the annual growth rate of class shares. Such legislation has been enacted in many years to at least partially prevent the shifting of the 51 NYC Independent Budget Office. Legal and practical implications of the City Council formulating and adopting the City Budget Available at https colon slash slash ebo.nyc.ne.us slash eboreports slash budge 99 imps.html. 32 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. Cities Property Tax Levy to Residential Properties. A billing adjustment is made later in the year. After the tax rates for the fiscal year are set. This mid-year adjustment is often a source of confusion to property owners. For properties with AVs of $250,000 or less. Property tax. Bills are due quarterly per statute. Whereas for properties with AVs greater than $250,000. Bills are due semi-annual. Lie. 52. Bills are generally mailed and posted on DOF's web. Site a month before taxes are due. Bills are not mailed if property taxes are paid through a bank or mortgage cervic in company, or if the account balance is zero. However, all bills are available on DOF's website. Starting in Janu, ARY 2020, eligible property owners can sign up for monthly payment plans, which include features such as automatic payment deductions, payment reminders, and receipts. When a property tax bill is paid late, interest is incurred. Interest rates are set annually by local law. The interest Rate for a late payment depends on the AV of the property. Currently, interest is 7% for parcels with AVs of less than $250,000 and 18% for parcels with AVs of at least $250,000.53. In 2019, in collaboration with the City Council, the OFSDAB, lished the Property Tax and Interest Deferral PTA Pro. Gram 54 because an unexpected event a hardship may make it difficult to pay property taxes. Owners who qualify for PT aid can defer property tax payments and remain in their homes. The payment of property taxes can be deferred for a fixed length of time for a temporary hardship or for a longer period due to a chronic hardship. The amount a ferret is limited to the maximum of 25% of the EQ. UAT for 1 minus 3 family homes, or 50% for condos. There is also a deferral cap at which point a property owner will not be permitted to defer the payment of additional tax. S. Unpaid debt continues to accrue interest. Eventually, unpaid property tax bills may become tax liens that may be sold in a tax lien sale. 55 before a lien is sold. The OF sends at least four notices informing owners of un paid bills and the possibility of the lien being sold. And, the EOF conducts outreach campaigns to help property owners avoid the sale. The number of liens sold each year is small, compared to the more than 1 million properties that pay property taxes. 
In 2019, 22,000 parcels were sent a 90-day notice letter from the DOF. Of these, approximately 3,700 liens were sold. Since 2016, the number of parcels receiving a 90-day notice and the number of liens that were sold have remained fairly constant. 52 NYC. DEPT Finance. Property tax due dates. Available at https colon slash slash www.nyc.gov slash site slash finance slash taxes slash property dash due dash dates dot page. 53 NYC. DEPT Finance. Property tax late payments. Available at https colon slash slash www.nyc.gov slash site slash finance slash taxes slash property dash late dash payments dot page. 54 NYC. DEPT Finance. Property Tax and Interest Deferral PT Aid Program. Available at https colon slash slash www.nyc.gov slash site slash finance slash taxes slash pt dash aid dot page. 55 NYC. DEPT Finance. Property Tax Lien Sales. Available at https colon slash slash www.nyc.gov slash site slash finance slash taxes slash property dash lien dash sales dot page. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 33. 34 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 35. 36 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. System Challenges and Issues Addressed in Reform. In announcing the formation of the commission both May or de Blasio and Speaker Johnson spoke of a tax system that seemed unfair, too opaque, and which has long perplexed the public, in this vein, the commission's man, 56, date was to review the current property tax system with an eye towards increasing fairness, transparency and simplicity. Ty. In addition, the commission undertook this review with an understanding that the tax both in its new form and in the transition process, should not displace city residents and should not cause undue disruption to owners. This section considers these principles of fairness, transparency, science simplicity, and highlights ways in which the com mission believes that the current system fails these principles. The commission also connects these principles to each of its initial recommendations to illustrate how they correspond to the commission's mandate. This section details the methodology and challenges in the current property tax system as it relates to property valuation, assessed value, AV, growth caps, tax rates and class shares, exemptions and abatements and effective tax rates, ETRs. Each subsection is concluded with an X. Planation on how elements of the current system do not comport with the principles of fairness and transparency. Fairness. Important to the credibility of a good property tax system is a sense that the system is fair and equitable. The principle of horizontal equity requires that properties of similar val you be taxed similarly, in part by being valued and assessed professionally and credibly. A sense of fairness also guides when and how a tax system deviates from horizontal equity. For example, there should be an explicit policy rationale such as moderating taxes for homeowners whose property tax may have become overly burdensome, e.g. low-income, households, seniors on fixed incomes, veterans, etc. The current system is not fair. Among the most salient rare sons for that unfairness is the uneven share of market val. You captured among coops and condos because of state law requirements on the valuation and AV growth caps which distort the relationship between the amount of taxes paid relative to a property's value across neighborhoods. Transparency and simplicity. Transparency is a guiding principle of any sound tax system. The tax should be easy to understand and clearly administered. This not only ensures tax bills are accurate but also instills trust in the system from the taxpayer's perspective. For a property tax to meet this goal, it should have an easily understood definition of what the value of a property is, and a tax rate that appears on a taxpayer's bill determining the amount owed. 
the current system is not transparent or simple to un stand. While some properties are assessed on a sales. 56 press release. Mayor de Blasio and Speaker Johnson announce advisory commission to recommend reforms to New York City's property tax system. May 31, 2018. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 37. Based valuation method that taxpayers can compare to actual market. Transactions. Other properties are not. An owner of a 1-3 family home can form a realistic expectation about changes in property values from information available in the media, real estate websites and other informal avenues. But coupon condo owners cannot because DOF is required by law to use comparable rental income information to value these proper ties. In addition, while the overall property tax rate is set by policymakers and has been stable for a decade, this rate is not the one taxpayers see on the bill. Instead, statutory formulas and the class share system de determine a different class rate each year in ways that are very difficult for taxpayers to understand. I. Estimation of market This subsection demonstrates for each of the main property types how value, DOF value, the industry standard for mass valuations compares to the current meth. Odd DOF uses and how the different methodologies dictated by legal restrictions may lead to the conclusion that the system is unfair and opaque for selected property types. There is also an analysis of how DOF values presently used in the calculation of tax bills compare to those gen rated under sales-based valuation methods that rely on recent market transactions. While these sales-based values may not be appropriate for all property types based on current industry standards. They are useful in providing a common denominator for comparing relative tax burdens among property classes and among properties of differing values within the same class. For this purpose, the Commission requested the devil allotment of sales based market value estimates for all taxable properties, except for utilities. The comparisons presented below rely on these estimates. Class 1. The International Association of Assessing Offices, IAAO, which sets guidelines for mass appraisal methodology, recommends the Cumper Ravel sales approach for the valuation of houses for which a sufficient number of comparable sales are available. 0.57 This is the current approach the OF uses to value Class 1 properties. 57 IAAO International Standards at 13. 16 https colon slash slash www.iao.org slash media slash standards slash intonation dash al underscore guidance dot pdf 38 new york city advisory commission on property tax reform preliminary report the of uses information from recorded real property transfers to identify recent market sales and then adjusts all sale prices to reflect market conditions as of the taxable status date for a given fiscal year. Statistical regression models are used to determine factors deemed to affect sale price such as location, size, age, style and other physical and functional characteristics. Using these factors, the OF estimates mar ket value using prices from comparable properties whose characteristics are most similar to the subject. Property. In this methodology, unfairness may result from the lack of appropriate comparable sales data, but not from the method itself. Class 2 coupes. IAAO also recommends the use of comparable sales to value coupes where sales data are sufficient. However, as previously noted, Section 581 of the New York State Real Property Tax Law requires that coupes and condos be valued as if they were rental properties. Therefore, to comply with New York State law, assesses impute rental income based upon rents received in comparable rental buildings. 58 There is con siderable evidence that this has resulted in the undervaluation of coop properties relative to sales based market value, in part because depending on the age and location of the coop building being valued, comparable buildings may fall under rent stabilization laws and regulations that constrain rental income. 59 Table 5 shows that DOF values capture a relatively small share of the sales-based market value of coupe units. The typical, median, coupe carries a DOF value of 25% of the sales-based market value. 
There is variation by borough. DOF captures the smallest share of sales based market value in Brooklyn, 0.21, and the largest share in the Bronx, 0.32. Table 5 – Ratio of DOF Value to Sales-Based Market Value by Borough Coops FY 2019 Ratio of DOF Value to Sales-Based Market Value Borough Number of Parcels 25th Percentile Median 75th Percentile Manhattan 169,128 0.18 0.230.28 Bronx 30,327 0.250.320.41 Brooklyn 69,577 0.16 Queens 105,632 0.230.27 Staten Island 1971 0.18 0.26 0.32 Total 376,635 0.19 0.25 0.31. Source, New York City Department of Finance. Division of Tax Policy Analytical File. Notes, restricted to taxable billable properties. A parcel is defined as a coupe unit. 58 C. E.G. B.D. Of Managers V. Assessor. City of Buffalo. 156 A.D. 3D. 1322. 1323, 68 NYS 3D 238, 239 minus 40, N, Y, App, Div, 2017, RPTL section 581 has been construed to mean that condominiums should be assessed as if they were conventional apartment houses whose occupants were rent-paying tenants. 59 C, E.G., Greentree at Lindbrick Condo, No. 1 V, B.D of assessors of bill, of Lindbrick, 81 NY2D 1036, 1039, 616 NE2D 850, 851, 1993, holding that condominiums should be assessed as rent stabilized as analogous rental apartment buildings in municipality were subject to rent stabilization. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 39. Table 6 shows DOF values capture a decreasing share of coupe unit sales based market value as that value increases. In part, due to the difficulty of finding appropriate comparable rental properties for very high end properties. The median ratio of DOF value to sales based market value decreases from 0.49 for coupe units with sales based market values less than. $100,000 to 0 0.10 for units valued greater than $10 million. Table 6 Ratio of DOF value to sales based market value by sales based market value category. Coops FY 2019. Median DOF value to sales based. Sales based market value category number of parcels. Market value ratio. Less than $100,000 7,544 0.49. $100,000 to $150,000 18,908 0.37 $150,000 to $200,000 30,667 0.31 $200,000 to $250,000 36,799 0.28 $250,000 to $300,000 38,939 0.26 $300,000 to $400,000 48,355 0.24 $400,000 to $500,000 30,708 0.22 $500,000 to $750,000 50,825 0.23 $750,000 to $1,000,000 34,867 0.23 $1 million to $2.5 million, 55,064, 0.21. $2.5 million to $5 million, 17,689, 0.18. $5 million to $7.5 million, 3,857, 0.14. $7.5 million to $10 million, 1320, 0.13. 
10 million dollars or more 1093 0.10 Total 376,635 0.25. Source, New York City Department of Finance. Division of Tax Policy Analytical File. Notes, restricted to taxable billable properties. A parcel is defined as a coop unit. Class 2 condos. Similarly, the IAAO recommends the use of comparable sales to value condos where sales data are sufficient. But DOF is constrained by NYS law in valuing condos as if they were rental properties instead of using actual transaction prices. 40 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. Table 7 shows that DOF value generally captures only a portion of the sales based market value of condo parcels. For the median condo in New York City, DOF value captures 20% of sales based market value. The median share ranges from 18% in Brooklyn and Queens to 34% in the Bronx. Table 7, Ratio of DOF Value to Sales-Based Market Value by Borough. Class 2 Condos FY 2019. Ratio of DOF Value to Sales-Based Market Value. Borough Number of Parcels. 25th Percentile Median 75th Percentile. Manhattan 99802 0.160.20.24. Bronx 14219 0.270.340.41. Brooklyn 40783 0.140.180.25. Queens 27122 0.150.180.24. Staten Island 2,855 0.170.230.29. Total 184,781 0.150.20.26. Source, New York City Department of Finance. Division of Tax Policy Analytical File. Notes, restricted to taxable billable properties. Excluding Class II condos smaller than 100 square feet, e.g storage units parking as with coop units dof values capture a decreasing table 8 ratio of dof value to sales based market value by sales based market value category class 2 condos fy 2019 share of sales based market value of a condo unit as sales based market value increases as shown in table sales based market median dof value to sales Value category. Number of parcels. Base market value ratio. 8. The results further demonstrate the difficulty of MAC. Inappropriate matches to comparable rental proper. Less than $100,000. 1370.34. Ties at the very high end of property values. The median. $100,000 to $150,000. 9828. 0.37. Ratio of DOF value to sales base market value decreases. $150,000 to $200,000 1873.0.33. 0 S from 0 0.34 for condo units with a sales base market. $200,000 to $250,000 3753.31 value less than $100,000. To 0 0.10 for condo units valued. $250,000 to $300,000 3417.0.24 greater than $10 million. $300,000 to $400,000 7052.0.22. dollars to $500,000 9913.0.21. dollars to $750,000 $31,449.0.21. $750,000 to $1 million $27,172 0.21. million to $2.5 million $62,132 0.19. million to $5 million $18,398 0.17. million to $7.5 million $4,634 0.15. 7.5 million dollars to 10 million dollars 1620 0.13
10 million dollars or more 2170 0.10 Total 184,781 0.20. Source, New York City Department of Finance. Division of Tax Policy Analytical File. Notes restricted to taxable billable properties. Excluding Class II condos smaller than 100 square feet, e.g. storage units. Parking. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 41. In January 2019. A four-story condo unit in 220 Central Park South sold for the highest amount on record in the United States. 60 the 24,000 square foot penthouse unit sold for $238 million. However, its estimated market value for property tax purposes is $9,370,212. This extreme example illustrates the effects of Section 581 of the New York State Real Property Tax Law, namely, that appropriate comparable rental properties for very high-end condos and coops may be difficult to find, resulting in undervaluation. The DOF value for the 220 Central Park South condo captures only 3.9% of its sale price. Since this property is a condo, its AV is determined by multiplying the market value by 45%, $9,370,212 by 0.45 equals $4,216,595. The amount of property tax is obtained by multiplying the AV by the Class II tax rate, 12.612% in FY19. The RE, Salting Effective Tax Rate, ETR. Defined as tax bill per $100 of sales based market value, for this property is 22 cents.61. These calculations are shown in the table below. Example 1 Condominium valuation and tax calculation. FY 2019. Example tax calculation Condo. A recorded sale price $238 million. BDOF value, per section 581, $9,370,212. C assessment ratio, class 2, 45%. D equals B asterisk C assessed value $4,216,595. E tax rate, class 2, 12.612%. F equals D asterisk E tax liability $531,000. G equals F, A asterisk $100 effective tax rate per $100.22. If it were, instead, a class 1 property, the OF would begin with an estimate of market value based on comparable sales. For illustrative purposes, the following table sets the sales based market value at the transaction price of $238 million. The class 1 assessment ratio would be 6% resulting in an AV of $14,280,000. Applying the FY 2019 Class 1 tax rate of 20.919% would result in tax liability of $2,987,233. And an ETR of $1.26. Example 2, 1-3 Family Home Valuation and Tax Calculation. FY 2019. Example tax calculation, 1-3 family home. A recorded sale price $238 million. B sales based market value $238 million. C assessment ratio, class 1, 6%. D equals B asterisk C assessed value $14,280,000. E tax rate class 1, 20.919%. F equals D asterisk E tax liability $2,987,233. G equals F, A asterisk $100 effective tax rate per $100, $1.26. billionaire Ken Griffin buys America's most expensive home for $238 million https colon slash slash www.wsj.com slash articles slash billionaire dash ken dash griffin dash buys dash america's dash most dash expensive dash home for 238 million 1154827130161 61 for simplicity it is assumed that the property is not the owner's primary residence and is therefore not eligible for the coupe condo abatement. 
properties with as assessed value above $60,000 that are the owner's primary residence qualify for a 17.5% abatement of the tax liability, further reducing the effective tax rate. 42 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. This example highlights the following general issues with the valuation of coupes and condos. The market value for tax purposes does not reflect and is signify cantley below the market value based on comparable sales. The IAAO recommended approach for these properties, 62 and the valuation process and tax liability for two residential ownership. Properties depends on the class assignment and differential frac. Tynal assessments. However, undervaluation does not necessarily mean that coupes and condos are under tax relative to class 1 properties. This is because coupes and condos have a higher assessment ratio, 45% versus 6 per cent, and those buildings with more than 10 units are not subject to AV. Growth caps. The mildly progressive design of the coupe condo abate. MENT 63 also offsets some of the effects of Section 581, but does so in a blunt and inexact way. In sum, requiring DOF to value coupes and condos as rentals violates the principle of fairness, resulting in a non-uniform undervaluation of these properties. Table 5, for example, shows that the ratio of DOF valuation to sales-based value for coupes is approximately 50% higher at the 75th percentile than at the 25th percentile, 31% versus 19%. Moreover, the undervalue Asian is regressive, with higher valued properties generally receiving assessments at a smaller fraction than lower valued properties. As shown in Table 6, Class 2 Small Rentals, the valuation method recommended by the IAAO for rental properties is an income based approach to the comparable sales approach. Given the Availability of reliable income data or sales data. For small rental buildings, 10 or fewer units. DOF currently uses an income-based approach to the gross income multiplier, which establish S ratios of value to gross income for comparable properties. Although a measure of value derived from gross income is less refined than that. 62 NYU Firm and Center. Shifting the burden, examining the undertaxation of some of the most. Valuable Properties in New York City 2, July 2013. Available at http colon slash slash fermancenter.org slash research slash publi dash. Cation, shifting the burden. 63 The benefit amount is greater for lower valued coupes and condos. For example, if the average assessed value is $50,000 or less, the benefit amount per year is 28.1%. Whereas the benefit amount per Year is 17.5% if the average assessed value is $60,001 and above. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 43. Derived from net income. The OF does not have reliable net income data. Since most owners of small rentals are not legally required to file detailed expense data so as to minimize reporting burdens on them. A gross. Income multiplier is determined by dividing typical sales prices within a neighborhood by typical annual income, from properties that did file a real property income and expense, RPIE, statement, and is adjusted for growth rates for these properties. This factor is then applied to estimated annual income to derive a value. Table 9 compares the OF values for small rentals with market values Gena added instead by using the comparable sales approach among all small rentals citywide for the median property the of captures almost half 48 percent of the sales based market value the of values cover the lowest share of sales based value in manhattan 45 percent and the largest in the bronx 78 percent table 9 ratio of dof value to sales based market value by borough Small Rentals FY 2019. Ratio of DOF value to sales based market value. Borough number of parcels. 25th percentile median 75th percentile. Manhattan 7,676 0.360.450.53. Bronx 4,404 0.660.780.86.
Brooklyn 29,113 0.350.460.58. Queens 11,857 0.420.490.59 Staten Island 839 0.510.700.85 Total 53,889 0.380.480.62 Source, New York City Department of Finance Division of Tax Policy Analytical File Note, restricted to taxable billable properties. An analysis of recent market transactions indicated substantial sales volume. UME for small rental parcels. For example, between 2013 and 2017. Roughly, 15% of taxable small rentals experienced at least one arm's length. Sale. A rate that is in line with 1-3 family properties in New York City over the same period. Suggesting sufficient sales data may exist to allow for usage of the comparable sales approach for small rentals. 44 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. Class 2 Large Rentals. For larger multifamily properties. The IAAO recommends a. Fear the comparable sales approach or an income-based approach. Depending on the availability of reliable sales and income data, the preferred method is the net income capitalization approach, which divides the property's net income by a capitalization rate, and is designed to app proximate an investor's expected annual rate of return on a particular income producing property to arrive at a property value. IAAO recommends that capitalization rates be derived by comparing actual or estimated incomes to sale prices when there is sufficient data. In the absence of such data, IAAO suggests using capitalization rates from published sources. New York City law requires large rental parcels and most other income-producing properties with an AV of more than $40,000 to file RPIE statements annually. These filings are lagged in time, for example, RPIE data for calendar year. 2015 was used to estimate market values as of January 2017, which determined taxes for FY 2018. For this reason, DOF adjusts reported income data to project forward in time. Furthermore, DOF calibrates statistical models to make ad adjustments accounting for lower reported income resulting from such factors as excessive vacancy, owner occupancy, below market leases, and to generally align reported X. Pences to what is considered normal and acceptable for similar buildings, while annual income and expense data are key inputs for determining a property's net income. The final net operating income used for valuation reflects his historical data and trends to stabilize values for properties failing to file an RPIE statement. Statistical models select income and expense data from comparable buildings based upon physical features and geography. With income adjustments, assigned incomes for large rent. Else conforms to statistical guidelines used by IAAO to verify both vertical and horizontal equity. The OF converts net income into property values for large rentals by using capitalization rates that are a function of income, such that as income increases, the capitalizer TN rate is lower. This ensures that buildings with SIMI La incomes will be assigned similar capitalization rates. In general, the OF capitalization rates are higher than those observable from market transactions. The OF does not use market capitalization rates because the OF is required legally to estimate property values based upon current use, not highest and best use. The OF uses the direct capitalization approach, which is generally accepted by the courts as the appropriate methodology to be used for income producing buildings where in current net operating income including the adjustments described above is utilized to calculate value as opposed to a discounted cash flow approach that converts multiple years of projected income into a prey and value by applying a discount rate the of increases its capitalization rates by estimated median annual property value changes using repeat sales data over an assumed holding period 10 years. In this way, the OF captures value derived only from earned income rather than expected in 
outcome which may involve a high degree of speculation, e.g. owners intending to convert or renovate a building and an anticipated profits from increases in resale value. Class 4 Commercial. The IAAO considers an income-based approach to be the most useful method of mass appraisal for commercial properties. The OF values class 4 commercial properties using the net in come capitalization approach. A similar methodology is for large rentals. Income and expense data are used in regress. Cyan models to ensure values reported are within norms of comparable properties. And adjustments are made to reported values where they deviate from these norms. As with large rentals, historical data and trends to stay be. Lies incomes are incorporated. These adjusted values are used to produce final valuations. These statistical regress cyan models are also used to verify that adjusted incomes that are assigned to parcels conform to IAAO guidelines for equity, ensuring that valuation increases systemically. Cali as income increases and that properties with similar New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 45. Physical characteristics are valued similarly. Properties. Where owners fail to file RPIE statements are assigned in. Comes by models that select incomes from comparable. Properties. Again adjusting for differences. The EOF assigns capitalization rates by commercial building. Category. With assigned rates declining as income increases. S. Yielding higher property values per dollar of income for. Properties that have higher incomes. Within a commercial. Building category. Equity in capitalization rates is achieved by assigning similar rates for all parcels with similar incomes. As with large rentals, the OF capitalization rates for commercial properties are generally higher than market capitalization rates because capitalization rates are increased by estimate at annual property value growth. For legal and methodological reasons, the OF values use earned income based on current use rather than future income growth and property value appreciation. Technically, it would be challenging to produce accurate estimates of market capitalization rates for mass appraisal purposes for commercial properties due to the paucity of sales data as well as factors specific to comma CIAL buildings. There is more variation in the physical char characteristics and uses of commercial properties than found in residential properties. Commercial properties also differ in terms of lease structure. Given the relatively long-term nature of commercial leases, there can be significant differ. Hence in expected future income growth between properties with very similar locational and physical characteristics. In the absence of detailed lease information, which DOF does not currently receive, it is impractical for mass appraisal purposes to generate market-based cap rates at the level of Granularity required for this heterogeneous property type. Evaluation. The non-uniform valuation methods applicable to different property classes does not comport with the principles of fairness, transparency and simplicity. While class 1 properties are valued using comparable sales to capture market value. The valuation method used for coupes and condos pursuant to section 581 of the RPTL produces undervaluation because they must be valued as if they were rental properties, in part because it is difficult to find comparable rents for high-end condos and coupes. Higher valued properties are assessed at a fraction of the true values. Moreover, the undervaluation causes the system to be regressive because higher values properties are assessed at a smaller fraction than lower valued properties. For example, at the median, the OF value captures a quarter of market value for coupes and only a fifth for condos. Further, the ratio of DOF value to market value varies significantly by borough and by the value of the Cooper condo, with DOF value capturing the highest share of market value in the Bronx, and for the lowest valued coupes or condos. As a practical matter, it would be difficult to value all property in the same way. However, where it is practical, as in the case of 1-3 family homes, coupes, condos and small rental properties. A uniform sales-based valuation method could help improve the property tax system. In the case of other classes, the OF valuation processes and capitalization tech 
Meeks conformed to IAAO standards for horizontal and vertical equity. 46 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. 2. Assessed value growth disparities among the tax liability of Class 1 properties is one of the most. Caps and phase-ins talked about issues with the property tax. Caps on assessment growth in the current system mean similarly valued properties may pay different property taxes, violating a principal component of fairness. For example, class 1 properties are not typically taxed at the 6% assessment ratio because of statutory AV growth caps. As a result, two similarly val UED class 1 properties could face different ETRs depending on the his Tory of appreciation. Example 3 below illustrates how this might occur. Home A's market value increases in year 2 by 11%. From $450,000 to $500,000. Because Home A's growth is capped by NYS law. Its AV cannot increase by more than 6%. As a result, the AV for Home A in year 2 is capped at $28,620 1.06x $27,000 resulting in a tax liability of $5,987. Home B's market value remains unchanged at $500,000 in year 2. With no market value appreciation, AV growth caps do not apply and the AV is $30,000 6% of market value. Home B has a higher tax bill than Home A despite identical market values, because Home A's value are pre created at a rate higher than the AV growth cap. Home A sees an increase in taxes paid but a decrease in its ETR from $1.26 to $1.20 whereas Home B's ETR remains at $1.26. Example 3, Impact of Assessed Value Growth Caps on ETRs of Example 1-3 Family Homes. Home A. Assessment assessed value actual assess. Market value tax rate tax ETR. Ratio before caps after caps meant ratio. Year 1 $450,000, 6%, $27,000, $27,000, 6.0%, 20.919%, $5,648, $1.26. Year 2 500,000 dollars, 6%, $30,000, $28,620, 5.7%, $20.919%, $5,987, $1.20. Home B. Assessment assessed value actual assess. Market value tax rate tax ETR. Ratio before caps after caps meant ratio. Year 1 500,000 dollars, 6%, $30,000, $30,000, 6.0%, 20.919%, $6,276, $1.26. Year 2 500,000 dollars, 6%, $30,000, $30,000, 6.0%, 20.919%, $6,276, $1.26. As market appreciation persists over time, the accumulation of AV growth caps can lead to situations where high-value class 1 properties pay a low a tax, as well as a lower ETR, than more moderately priced properties. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 47. Further, as shown in example 4 below, the caps also explain why AVs and taxes can increase even when market values are declining. In year 3, the values of Home A and Home B decline by $10,000. Both proper ties are assessed equally at the 6% assessment ratio and pay the same tax amount. However, Home A faces a tax increase because the value increase in year 2 that was subject to the AV growth cap is now under the 6% cap in year 3. Example 4, impact of assessed value growth caps on ETRs of example 1-3 family homes. With market value depreciation in year 3. Home A. Assessment assessed value actual assess. Market value tax rate tax ETR. Ratio before caps after caps meant ratio. Year 1 450,000 6%, $27,000, $27,000, 6.0%, 20.919%, $5,648, $1.26.
Year 2, five $500,000, 6%, $30,000, $28,620, 5.7%, 20.919%, $5,987, $1.20. Year 3, $400,000, 6%, $29,400, $20,400, $6.0%, $20.919%, $6,150, $1.26. $1 $1 Home B. Assessment Assessed Value Actual Assess. Market Value Tax Rate Tax ETR. Ratio Before Caps After Caps Meant Ratio. Year 1 500,000 $6%, $30,000, $30,000, 6.0%, 20.919%, $6,276, $1.26. ,000 Year 2 500,000 $6%, $30,000, $30,000, 6.0%, 20.919%, $6,276, $1.26. ,000 ,000 Year 3 400,000 $6%, $29,400, $29,400, 6.0%, 20.919%, $6,150, $1.26. ,000 ,000 Table 10 shows the resulting distortions between boroughs caused by the AV growth caps. For 1 minus 3 family. Homes 0.64 citywide. The median ratio between billable AV and DOF value, AV ratio, is 4.37%. Below the target AV ratio of 6%. The median AV ratio in Manhattan and Brooklyn. The two boroughs that have seen dramatic property value appreciation are 2.10% and 3.41%. Respectively. Staten Island where appreciation has been comparatively slower and therefore AVs are less frequently subject to growth. CAPS has the highest median AV ratio of 5.20%. Table 10, AV ratio of 1 minus 3 family homes by borough. FY 2019, AV ratio of 1 minus 3 family homes. Borough number of parcels. 25th percentile median 75th percentile. Manhattan 5,404, 1.40%, 2.10%, 2.95%. Bronx 62,615, 4.40%, 4.97%, 5.52%. Brooklyn 191,058, 2.25%, 3.41%, 4.29%. Queens 269,614, 3.81%, 4.35%, 4.90%. Staten Island 107,423, 4.68%, 5.20%, 5.68%. Total 636,114, 3.54%, 4.37%, 5.07%. Note, restricted to taxable billable properties. 64 AV growth caps also apply to small class 2 properties, 4 to 10 unit rentals buildings and 2 to 10 unit coop and condo buildings. With yearly in. Creases limited to 8%. Or 30% cumulatively over 5 years. The implications of the caps for small class 2 properties are similar to those. Observed for class 1 properties. 48 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. Effect of removing or adjusting AV growth caps. Removing AV growth caps. Or increasing growth allowed under caps. Would bring greater equity to tax bills of similarly valued properties sit. Uated in neighborhoods of differing market value appreciation. Although. Homeowners would be less protected from market price changes as they. Budget for the property tax bills. The alternative mechanism to smooth market value fluctuations is to. Phase them in over time which is the mechanism applied to large class 2 properties, as well as class 4 properties. In those classes, year over year, actual AV changes are phased in 20% per year, which stabilizes volatility while also resulting in value changes being fully reflected in tax bills within a 5-year time frame. By contrast, a doubling in market value in class 1 requires 18 years to be fully reflected in billable AV, assuming no further market value appreciation, due to the AV growth caps. Evaluation. In sum, the AV growth cap is a major driver of inequity within class 1. 
Over time, AV growth caps have produced in equities among properties that have seen different rates of market value appreciation. This has resulted in inequities across the five boroughs and across neighborhoods within boroughs. For example, a high value class 1 property may pay a lower tax, as well as have a lower ETR, than a lower valued property. At the same time, the AV growth caps are the main protection that properties in class 1 have from higher tax bills re salting from market appreciation. They provide both tax relief and predictability as they smooth out market volatility. The current AV growth caps are tied to properties and not to property owners. They are not means tested and they do not expire when a property is sold. Furthermore, as tax relief, they are not as transparent as exemptions and abatements, which can be easily identified on a tax bill. The shortcomings of AV growth caps would be addressed by replacing the caps with a system of targeted, means-tested, explicit exemptions that would deliver the desired breadth and depth of tax relief. Also, instituting a five-year phase in for market value growth, equalization only, which currently exists for class 2 and class 4 properties, would provide a more transparent efficient and practical alternative to smooth market value fluctuations. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 49. 3. Class Tax Rates A. Current Class Share System Methodology and Challenges. And Class Shares. The Class Share System was intended to ensure that tax levy paid by each of the four property classes remained aligned with the share of total market value. With these adjustments taking place gradually, the 5 per cent cap on year-over-year growth in class shares due to market condi tie-ins, rather than physical additions and subtraction from the building stock, was intended to prevent annual shifts for any given class, with growth in excess of 5% redistributed among the other classes at the city council's discretion. Class shares are proportions of market value as determined by NYSORPTS. Historically, Class 1's share of the total DOF value of property in the city has grown relative to the other classes and elected representatives have responded by enacting state legislation to lower the 5% class share growth cap, thus limiting tax increases on residential properties. Relative growth in DOF values across tax classes is affected both by market dynamics and by the different valuation methods, which can distort both the level and growth rates of DOF values. As shown in Table 11, the class share growth cap was lowered 23 times. Since FY 1993.65 this means that there were 23 instances in which NYS 65 NYC DOF annual report of the New York City property tax. Fiscal year 2018. Table 23. HTTPS www.nyc.gov slash assets slash finance slash download slash pdf slash reports slash reports dash property dash tax slash nice underscore property underscore phi 18 dot pdf in fy 19 the cap was 0.5 percent in fy 20 the cap is 0 percent 50 new york city advisory commission on property tax reform preliminary report Legislation shifted tax increases that would otherwise apply to residential properties to other types of properties. For X. Ample. In FY 2008, legislation reduced the class share growth cap to zero, shifting $474 million in tax increases away from class 1 properties and to other property classes. Between FY 1993 and FY 2019, the cumulative effect of lower class share Growth caps reduced Class 1's levy by over $4.4 billion, $5.3 billion in 2018 dollars, and Class 2's levy by $890 million, $1.30 billion in 2018 dollars. The tax burden shifted onto Class 3 and Class 4 properties was about $1.8 billion, $1.9 billion in 2018 dollars and $3.5 billion, $4.6 billion in 2018 dollars. Respectively, Table 11, class share caps adopted and tax levy shifted between classes by lowering cap below 5%. FY 1993-FY 2019. 
Nominal tax levy shift dollar M, actual class share cap compared to 5% cap. Fiscal year class share cap. Class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4. 1993 2.00%, $20, $70, $48, $2. 1996 2.50%, $32, $126, $25, $127. 1999 2.50%, $30, $0, $70, $108. 2002.00%, $8, $0, $30, $38. 2002.00%, $42, $0, $30, $37. 2003 2.00%, $94, $0, $17, $147. 2005-5.00%, $168, $1, $32, $146. 2006 2.00%, $361, $63, $106, $306. 2009 0.00%, $666, $178, $348, $494. 2011 2.50%, $430, $6, $265, $170. 2012 2.50%, $277, $2, $123, $156. 2013 1.00%, $135, $87, $198, $97. 2015 5.00% $0, $0, $0, $0, $0. 2016 5.00% $0, $0, $0, $0. 2017 5 $0, $0, $0, $0. 2019 0.50%, $263, $70, $172, $161. Total, $4,427, $890, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000
Shares is illustrated by class 1 representing 48% of value but only 15% of taxes paid tax levy. However, when using a common valuation method, sales-based market values, across all property types, class 1 represents 23% of value. Coupon condo buildings market value shares go from 9% in DOF value to 23%. These buildings currently account for 15% of taxes paid. Figure 1, share of DOF value, tax levy, and sales-based market value by property type. FY 2019. DOF value total, $1,251 billion tax levy bill total, $28.3 billion. 48 50%, 25%, 15%, 6%, 3%, 1%, 9%, 9%, 3%, 5%, 16%, 5%, 2%, 5%, 2%, 4%, 7%, sales-based market value total, $2,580 billion, 23% all class 1, 31% condos, coupes, small rentals, large rentals, 1% 11%, other class 2, 2% 12%, class 3 utilities, 14% 5%, all class 4, source, New York City Department of Finance, Division of Tax Policy Analytical File, notes restricted to taxable billable properties, other class 2 includes condops, con rentals and commercial condo units in residential buildings, tax levy billed is after, exemptions and abatements, 52 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. Any class with a market share greater than its share of the tax levy is receiving a tax preference. With a consistent mayor, sure of market values here, the sales-based methodology. Class 1 properties, coupes, condos and small rentals show a tax preference, accounting for 51% of sales-based value and paying 33% of the levy large rentals and class 4 properties, on the other hand, comprise 45% of value and pay 59% of the levy. Even as class 1 receives a tax preference, class 1 taxpayers express frustration over the disconnect between the tax rate they see on the bill and what the city directly controls, the overall tax rate. The overall tax rate has not been raised since 2009. But taxpayers have seen the class tax rate increase over the period as a result of the class shares and rate setting. Components of the property tax system. The rise of class 1's tax rate has been offset by falling rates for class 2 and class 3. Here is why. Each class tax rate is the product of a few things, the overall levy. The share of the levy each class is respon. Civil for paying. And the amount of AV in the class. Over the past 5 years. The overall assessment in the entire city has gone up by about 39%. And since the overall tax rate has not changed, this means the overall levy has also gone up by roughly 39%. During this same period, Class 1's assessments grew by 24%, held down largely by the strong caps. But Class 1 had to provide 39% more in tax levy from only 24% more in assessments, after accounting for the enactment of state legislation that reduced its class share. Class 1 still had to raise 32% more in levy from only 24% more in assessments. As a result, the class 1 tax rate has increased from 19.191% to 20.919% in FY 2019. But taxpayers and many officials did not understand why, given the complicated calculations of the class share system. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 53. IV. Subtraction of exemptions A wide range of organizations receive real property tax exemptions if their taxable billable AV properties are used for qualifying purposes. Point six six Table 12 shows the total number of exemptions and total tax expenditure, the value of the proper tie tax reduction, going to public and institutional entities that are exempt from New York City property tax. The exempt categories include govern, ment and public authorities, as well as houses of worship, hospitals, edu, educational institutions, and other charitable and not-for-profit organizations. The tax dollar value of exemptions for private not-for-profit medical care 
and educational facilities totaled $1.5 billion in FY 2019. Two sectors that have experienced growth in the tax expenditure amount in recent years. Table 12, Real Property Tax Exemptions for Selected Sectors. FY 2019. Sector Number of Exemptions Tax Expenditure, Dollar M. Government 17,676,240.8. Public Authorities 11,279, 5,081.6. Private Institutional 14,953, 2,866.5. Religious 9,162 825.4 Medical care 1138 745.5 Educational facilities 1118 713.0 Other 3,535 582.6 Source, New York City Department of Finance Annual Report of the New York City Property Tax FY19, Table 3 in addition to institutional exemptions, a variety of programs in state law include exemptions granted for housing programs, such as the de development of multiple dwellings buildings, e.g., the 421A and affordable New York programs, and the rehabilitation, e.g., the J51 program. For the more economic development exemptions include programs target at a commercial buildings, e.g., the industrial and commercial abate men program in general these exemptions are available as of right to all investments that satisfy eligibility requirements and last for several years stretching up to 35 years in the case of affordable new york leg pilot of changes to the programs would only affect future recipients in addition to as of right programs discretionary property tax exemptions can be granted by the Industrial Development Agency for economic de development purposes. Most economic development programs providing property tax exemptions are a legacy of more challenging city economic conditions and should be re-evaluated and revisited to determine their effectiveness. The Department of Housing Preservation and Development can propose, and the City Council can authorize, tax exemptions for the construction or rehabilitation of affordable housing. 66 eligibility guidelines are available from dofhttps colon slash slash www.nyc.gov slash site slash nfp slash eligibility slash eligibility dot page 54 new york city advisory commission on property tax reform preliminary report individual assistance programs are targeted to primary residents on the basis of income age disability and veteran status New York State Pro. VDES an exemption for residential owners through the school tax relief. STAR program. Although this is being gradually replaced by a CUMPA. Rabel State Income Tax Credit. These programs provide tax relief on an annual basis and legislative changes affect current and future recipients. For the major exemption programs administered by New York City. Table. 13 reports the number of exemptions. Exempt AB and the amount of tax expenditure, the value of the property tax reduction, 0.67. Table 13, Major Real Property Tax Exemption Programs for Taxable Properties. FY 2019, Program Number of Exemptions Exempt AV, dollar M, Tax Expenditure, dollar M. Housing Development, 421A. New Multiple Dwellings 71,095 12,761.4 1,608.7 J51 Exemption 21,841,768.2 220C Low Income Housing 2033 2,314.6 Economic Development Industrial and Commercial Incentive Program 5,617 5,634.8 Individual Assistance Senior Citizen Homeowner Exemption SCHE 47,373 727.7 137.3 Veterans Exemption 44,592 
Low Income Disabled Homeowner Exemption, DHE, 3051 43.98.4. Source, New York City Department of Finance. Annual Report on Tax Expenditures FY19, Table 1. Evaluation. These exemptions serve to promote policy goals, such as the development of affordable housing, improvement of existing housing, and tax relief for seniors, veterans, and the disabled. They reduce taxable value and therefore result in difference. S and ETRs among properties. Class shares are based upon market value but class tax rates are based upon taxable billable AV. Exemptions but not. Abatements, reduce a class's taxable billable AV. And as a result, the greater a class's exempt value, the higher the tax rate. 67 more detail can be found in NYC Department of Finance, 2019, Annual Report on Tax Expen. Dichios FY19. HTTPS colon slash slash www1.nyc.gov slash assets slash finance slash download slash PDF slash reports slash reports dash tax dash expenditure slash ter underscore 2019 underscore final dot PDF. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 55. V. Subtraction of Abatements Table 14 summarizes the major tax expenditure programs delivered through abatements, which directly lower tax payments. Individual assist. TANS represents the largest amount of tax expenditures, mainly due to the COOP condo tax abatement. Legislation passed in 2013 limited the abate meant to properties that are the primary residence of the owner. Abatement. Rates were also changed to 28.1% in buildings with AV per unit of up to $50,000 declining to 17.5% for AV per unit above $60,000. Table 14, Major Abatement Programs. FY 2019, Program Number of Abatements Tax Expenditure, Dollar $M. Housing Development. J51 Abatement 72,101 74.8. Economic Development. Industrial and Commercial Abatement Program, ICAP, 12,17,197.8. Individual assistance. Coop condo abatement 303,037,571.8. Senior citizen rent increase exemption, SCRIE, 60,632,142.4. Disabled person rent increase exemption, DRIE, 11,423,24.8. Source, New York City Department of Finance. Annual Report on Tax Expenditures FY19, Table 1. Evaluation. Abatements are used to promote policy goals such as building rehabilitation, as well as providing tax relief for coops and condo owners, seniors and the disabled. These abatements directly reduce the tax bill and therefore also result in differences in ETRs among properties. 56 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. By tax burden to better understand how the many factors above combine to affect relative tax burdens. This subsection compares ETRs for different types of properties. A. How do ETRs vary between different property types? Figure 2 provides a comparison of ETRs by property type in FY 2019 using sales. Base market values for consistent treatment across property types. The property. Types with the highest median ETR are offices, $1.66, which make up a large poor TN of the square footage in class 4, followed by large rentals, $1.54, and class 4. Non-utility properties, $1.29. The remaining residential property types vary within a relatively small band, ranging from $0.63 cents for class 2 condos to $0.88 cents for coupes. The figures presented here paint a somewhat different picture from previous studies of ETRs in New York which did not use a common denominator, such as the sales-based market values the commission is using. Previous studies have calculated ETRs using published DOF values, which for non-class 1 properties tend to be substantially higher than sales-based values. For example, a widely cited NYU Furman Center report. 68 estimated ETRs for class 2 and class 4 of $3.31.
and $3.85. Respectively, rates roughly twice as high as the ETRs found when us. Ing sales base market values for class 2 and class 4. The Furman Center report estimates that the ETRs for class 2 were almost five times those of class 1. But those differences shrink dramatically when all are valued on a sales base meth. Odd. Studies that rely on DOF values have therefore considerably overstated the disparity in ETRs between class 1 and the other tax classes. Compared to the more appropriate method of using sales based market values to assess tax burden. Figure 2 Effective tax rates by property type. FY 2019. ETR after exemptions and abatements per $100. Bar represents median. With interval for 25th and 75th percentiles. Class 1, 1 minus 3 family, 85 cents. Class 2, condos, 63 cents. Class 2, coops, 88 cents. Class 2, small rentals, 75 cents. Class 2, large rentals, $1.54. Class 4, all non-utilities, $1.29. Class 4, offices, $1.66. cents. $1, $1, $1, $1, $2.50, Source, New York City Department of Finance. Division of Tax Policy Analytical File. Notes, restricted to taxable billable properties. Class 4 all non-utilities include 6,566 office parcels. 68 NYU Furman Center distribution of the burden of New York City's property tax. Available at https colon slash slash Furman dash. Center.org slash files slash such slash distribution underscore of underscore the underscore burden underscore of underscore new underscore york underscore cities underscore property underscore tax underscore eleven dot pdf. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 57. B. How do ETRs for NYC compare to other cities? While there are few studies comparing property tax ETRs in cities across the town. Try the Lincoln Institute of Land Policy and Minnesota Center for Fiscal Excellence. Annual report on property tax burdens in 53 cities across the United States 69 of. Furs a useful point of reference. This report estimates an ETR for different hypothetical property types that can be compared across locations of the 53 cities. Studied. 42 treat owner-occupied homestead properties preferentially relative to commercial properties, as Table 15 shows, with an estimated ratio of commercial to homestead of 2.76. NYC ranked 6th highest in this report, Column 5. Table 15, estimated tax burden for residential and commercial properties in NYC compared to other cities. 2018, ratio of effective tax rates between property types. Effective tax rate per $100. Relative to homestead, New York City mean New York City ETR. Lincoln study Lincoln study. Diane ETR per $100 ratio, median ETR. Average ETR in 53 ETR in New York of sales based average ETR ratio in ETR ratio in new relative to median. Cities studied city market value 53 cities studied York City homestead ETR. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Homestead $1.37 50 cents, 50th, 85 cents. Commercial $1.95 $1.14 47th, $1.34 1 1.672.76, 6th, 1.58. Apartment $1.69 $1.20 $39, $1.54 $1.57 $1.58. Sources, Columns 1, 2, 4 and 5, Lincoln Institute of Land Policy and Minnesota Center for Fiscal Excellence 50 State Property Tax Comparison Study. June 2019, Appendix. Tables 2b, 3a, 5a, 6a, 6b. Columns 3 and 6, New York City Department of Finance. Division of Tax Policy Analytical File. Homestead. Commercial. And apartment are defined respectively as, 1 minus 3 FAMI, lie homes, class 4 commercial properties, and large rentals, FY 2019.
Notes, effective tax rates in columns 1 and 2 are estimated for, a homestead property with the median value in each city and after accounting for assessment growth. Caps, a $1 million commercial property with an additional $200,000, of fixtures, and a $600,000 apartment property with an additional $30,000 of fixtures. The effective tax rate ratios in Columns 4 and 5 do not include the value of the additional fixtures for commercial and apartment because the value of a homeowner's household goods are not taxable. The relatively high ranking in this study is due to the highly preferential treatment of homes under the current property tax system, NYC ranked 50th with a 50 cents. Homestead ETR, 0 .70 this, in part, stems from AV growth caps and the fact that tax Able value does not reset upon property sale as it often does in other jurisdictions. The Lincoln Institute study found that 36 of 53 cities have lower tax burdens on homestead properties than they do on rental properties. The ratio of ETRs for rental buildings compared to homestead properties was estimated to be 2.55 in New York City, ranking second. This is also likely driven by the preferential treatment of homestead properties, and not necessarily due to a high burden on rental properties, NYC ranked 39th with a $1.20 rental property ETR. 69C Lincoln Institute of Land Policy and Minnesota Center for Fiscal Excellence 50 State Property Tax Com. Harrison Study. Available at https colon slash slash www.lincolnance.edu slash site slash default slash files slash pub files slash 50 dash state dash property dash tax dash compare dash sun for 2018 full underscore underscore zero dot pdf 70 high ranking is not due to a high burden on commercial properties relative to other locations nyc ranked 47th with an ETR of $1.14. 58 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. Table 15 also displays ETRs for each of the three property types using the sales. Based market values estimated for the commission, prior section. Similar to the Lincoln Institute study. This alternative approach shows that homestead properties Enjoy a much lower tax burden than other property types, ETR of 85 cents for home. Stead parcels. Compared to $1.34 for commercial and $1.54 for apartments. The differential in ETR between homestead properties and other property types is con. Siderable, column 6. But not as wide as in the Lincoln Institute study, column 5. C. How do ETRs vary within property types? ETRs vary between the different property types and also within the various prop. 30 types. As figure 2 shows, for all property types there is a considerable gap between 25th percentile and 75th percentile ETRs. Exemption and abatement pro. Grams contribute to differences in ETRs within specific property types. Among 1-3 family homes. Variation in ETRs is caused primarily by the differential. Effects of AV growth caps. Specifically, in neighborhoods where market values are appreciating rapidly, ETRs will tend to be lower as a result of these growth caps. Focusing on 1 minus 3 family homes, tables 16 and 17 summarize ETRs by borough and by price level. As table 16 shows, the median ETR for 1 minus 3 family homes is lowest in Manhattan. 41 cents, and highest in Staten Island, $1.02. Within boroughs, there is also concert, arable variation. In Brooklyn, for example, the difference between a taxpayer in the 25th percentile and one in the 75th percentile is 46 cents. Table 16, effective tax rates for 1-3 family homes by borough. FY 2019, ETR after exemptions and abatements. Borough. 25th percentile median 75th percentile. Manhattan 27 cents 41 cents 61 cents. Bronx 82 cents 98 cents 1 dollar and 10 cents. Brooklyn 39 cents 65 cents 85 cents. Queens 73 cents 86 cents 98 cents. Staten Island 89 cents 1 dollar and 2 cents 1 dollar and 13 cents.
all 65 cents, 85 cents, one dollar and one cent. Note: restricted to taxable billable properties. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 59, as shown in Table 17. ETRs also vary considerably by property value cat. Agree. In general, lower valued homes face a substantially higher ETR, largely the result of homes in higher valued and more rapidly appreciate. Adding neighborhoods disproportionately benefiting from AV growth caps. Table 17, effective tax rates for 1-3 family homes by sales-based market value category. FY 2019. Sales-based market ETR after exemptions and abatements. Value category 25th percentile median 75th percentile. Less than $100,000 $1.24 to $150,000.90 to $150,000 to $200,000 to $250,000.82, $1.03, $1.19, $250,000 to $300,000.86, to $400,000 to $500,000 to $85,000.87, to $750,000.77, $91, $1.03, $750,000 to $1,000,000.66, $0.80, $0.93, $1,000,000 to $2.5 million, $0.41, $0.63, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.80, $0.
$250,000 to $300,000 68 cents $1.15. $300,000 to $400,000 $0.59 $0.81 $1.09 $400,000 to $500,000 $0.55 $0.81 $1.14 $500,000 to $750,000 $0.58 to $1.20 $750,000 to $1,000,000 $0.65 $0.88 $1.13 one million dollars to two point five million dollars sixty cents eighty one cents one dollar and two cents two point five million dollars to five million dollars forty nine cents sixty five cents eighty three cents five million dollars to seven point five million dollars forty cents fifty two cents sixty six cents seven point five million dollars to ten million dollars thirty nine cents forty eight cents sixty one cents $10 million or more 29 cents 39 cents 48 cents. All 63 cents 88 cents $1 and 18 cents. Source, New York City Department of Finance. Division of Tax Policy Analytical File. Notes restricted to taxable billable properties. A parcel is defined as a coupe unit. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 61. The pattern of DOF values capturing a declining portion of sales-based market values is similar for condos, table 8. DOF value captures 34% of sales-based market value for condos valued at less than $100,000. And this percentage generally decreases as sales-based market value increases, reaching only 10% for condos with sales-based values greater than $10 million. However, as shown, in Table 19, condos do not show the same pattern of median ETRs as coupes. Condos valued at less than $100,000 have a median ETR of $0.41, cents, while condos at the highest end pay $0.44, cents. and there is significant variation at intervening price levels. This is primarily due to the 421 a tax exemption. Table 19, Effective Tax Rates for Class 2 Condos by Sales-Based Market Value Category. FY 2019. Sales-Based Market ETR After Exemptions and Abatements. Value Category 25th Percentile Median 75th Percentile. Less than $100,000 33 cents 41 cents 42 cents. $100,000 to $150,000 27 cents 32 cents 36 cents. $150,000 to $200,000 26 cents 47 cents $1.14 $200,000 to $250,000 24 cents 56 cents $1.01 $250,000 to $300,000 49 cents 72 cents $1.06 $300,000 to $400,000 38 cents 65 cents 91 cents $400,000 to $500,000 16 cents 58 cents 89 cents $500,000 to $750,000 9 cents 54 cents 93 cents $750,000 to $1,000,000 9 cents 68 cents $1.02 one million dollars to two point five million dollars thirty four cents seventy three cents ninety seven cents two point five million dollars to five million dollars fifty four cents seventy cents eighty seven cents five million dollars to seven point five million dollars forty seven cents sixty one cents seventy eight cents seven point five million dollars to ten million dollars forty one cents fifty three cents seventy cents $10 million or more 31 cents 44 cents 59 cents. All 27 cents 63 cents 93 cents. Source, New York City Department of Finance. Division of Tax Policy Analytical File. Notes restricted to taxable billable properties. Excluding Class II condos smaller than 100 square feet, e.g. Storage units. Parking. Evaluation. AV growth caps for 1-3 family homes and relative undervaluation for higher-priced coupes and condos. Result in ETR. Inequities among price levels. ETRs tend to be lower for higher-priced properties. The pattern is less apparent for condos.
in part due to exemption programs such as 421A. 62 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 63. 64 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. Initial recommendations. The Commission reached consensus on 10 initial recommendations that together help resolve the issues identified in the previous section. 1. The Commission recommends moving coupes, condo, miniums, and rental buildings with up to 10 units into a new residential class 71 along with 1 minus 3 family homes. B. Property tax system would continue to consist of four classes of property, residential, large rentals, utilities, and commercial. For the new proposed residential class, class 1 proper, ties would be combined with condos and coops, as well as small rentals, furthering the principles of fairness and transparency. The commission recognizes that coops and condos are broadly similar to class 1 in terms of residential usage and Grouping them together would make it easier to ensure that they receive the same treatment under the property tax system. Small rental properties, which borrow features from both residential properties and large rentals, are proposed to be included in this new class because, similar to class 1, and smaller coupon condo parcels, these properties have historically benefited from AV growth caps. Data indicate that with the elimination of these caps recommendation. 4. Significant disruptions could arise from grouping small rentals with large rentals due to the difference in their F. Effective tax rates. 2. The Commission recommends using a sales-based meth. Odology to value all properties in the residential class. This reform achieves valuation equity both between and within property types because all properties in the new residential class are subject to similar methods for assess. In values, state law currently mandates that coops and condos be valued as if they were rental properties, which results in incomparable values to those based on market sales and substantial variation in the share of sales-based market value that is captured, particularly by price level and geography. Valuing coops, condos and small rentals. 71 technically, residential, refers to properties where people reside. But for present purposes the Commission uses the term, new residential class, to mean excluding large rental residential properties. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 65. Instead by a comparable sales approach would serve to promote equity among all property types in the new res. Identical class. In addition, it would improve transparent science simplicity in how tax bills are determined. Without changing the total tax paid in aggregate by the new RESI. Dental class. Further, it would allow DOF's assessments to comport with the International Association of Assessing Offices, IAAO, recommended best practices of using the comparable sales approach for the vast majority of residential parcels in New York City to determine market values, ensuring uniformity in administration. 3. The Commission recommends assessing every property in the residential class at its full market value. This proposal eliminates fractional assessments. Thus situ. Adding all properties in the new residential class on an equal footing, all properties in the residential class would be val. UED via the same sales-based methodology. This reform would improve transparency and simplicity by eliminating the confusion surrounding fractional assessments, all pa. CELS will now be taxed based on the full market value. Thus, allowing all property owners to focus on the essential the termination of the tax bill, assessed value, X tax rate. 4. The Commission recommends that annual market value changes in the new residential class be phased in over 5 years at a rate of 20% per year, and that assessed value growth caps should be eliminated to allow for some predictability in tax bills and time to adjust to market changes. Annual market value changes, excluding growth due to physical alterations, would be phased in over five years. As a result, inequities caused by different rates of property value appreciation would be temporary. This change would be a critical step towards resolving inequities within current class 1 properties and 
the class 2 properties subject to caps. Removing the system of AV growth caps would promote equity, fairness and transparency across locations with varying rates of property value appreciation, eliminating the cumulative effects of these caps would clarify the re- relationship between the amount of taxes paid relative to a property's value. 5. The Commission recommends creating a partial home stead exemption for primary resident owners with income below a certain threshold. The exemption would be avail able to all eligible primary resident owners in the residen teal class and would replace the current coup condo tax abatement. The Commission recognizes the importance of offering relief to primary resident owners in the city and recom men's creating a new partial exemption program for these owners. In addition to providing a broad-based benefit to primary resident owners, the partial exemption would help to protect them from increased taxes, including increases caused by the removal of assessed value growth caps. The breadth and depth of this partial exemption are among the outstanding issues that the Commission will explore with the goal of achieving a balance between homeowner relief and the Commission's mandate for revenue neutrality. The creation of this new partial exemption, combined with recommendations 1-3, would eliminate the need for the Coop Condo Abatement Program, which was originally en acted to offset inequities between Class 1 and Class 2 Coop and condo owners. It also would replace the benefit cur really provided through growth caps with a more equitable and targeted form of relief. 66 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report. 6. The Commission recommends creating a circuit breaker within the property tax system to lower the property tax burden on low-income primary resident owners. Based on the ratio of property tax paid to income, the relief program the Commission is recommending would be administered via the property tax system and targeted to lower income owners facing a high property tax burden. After applying all exemptions and abatements including the newly created partial homestead exemption, under this program, property tax bills for qualifying owners would be limited to a certain percentage of household income. The circuit breaker relief would be capped at a certain dollar amount. This new program would help ensure that Low-income owners have affordable tax bills. The breadth and depth of the circuit breaker are among the outstanding issues that the Commission will explore with the goal of achieving a balance between homeowner relief and the Commission's mandate for revenue neutrality. This reform, in tandem with Recommendation 5, supports a targeted approach to providing relief. 7. The Commission recommends replacing the current class share system with a system that prioritizes predict able and transparent tax rates for property owners. The new system would freeze the relationship of tax rates among the tax classes for five-year periods, after which time the city would conduct a mandated study to analyze if adjustments need to be made to maintain consistency in the share of taxes relative to fair market value borne by each tax class. The class share system is overly complicated, even when Citywide average tax rates remain the same from year to year. The class share system has meant that the property tax rate owners actually see on the tax bill changes every year, which has been a persistent source of confusion. Over time, it has introduced inequities, as class share caps have caused tax shares to diverge from market value shares and historically have favored some classes over others. Elimi nation would improve equity among property classes and would bring simplicity and transparency in property tax rates and bills. The newly mandated sales ratio study that the Commerce Scion is recommending to be carried out every five years would ensure that the ratio of effective tax rates among the various classes is clear and remains relatively stable, and the process through which rates are set is more transparent, while rates will continue to be determined at the discretion of city council to balance the city budget in in turbining years that do not coincide with the end of a five year adjustment period any rate changes must be applied in equal proportion to all classes to avoid the risk of ma ket disruption in the first year of the transition to the new system the share of total levy paid by properties in each of the newly reconfigured classes will remain the same as 
under the current system. 8. The Commission recommends that current valuation methods should be maintained for properties not in the new residential class rental buildings with more than 10 units, utilities, and commercial. The Commission recommends continuing to value large rent and commercial property types based on current use. This involves valuing these property types by direct capitalization of current net operating income using capitalization rates that do not incorporate expectation of income growth of proper tie appreciation, while valuing at best use would improve transparency in that it could generate values closer to sales. Values. It is problematic for mass valuation in a jurisdiction such as New York City with a large diversity in property types and lease structures. The best use method would not reflect current lease structures for many properties and would add speculative assumptions to the mass valuation process. New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report 67. The Commission makes this recommendation recognizing that the current valuation approach conforms to inter- National Association of Assessing Officers Standards and that its income and expense models meet guidelines for vertical and horizontal equity. There is also consistency in capitalization rates because buildings of the same type with similar incomes are assigned similar capitalization rates. Special franchise utility parcels would continue to be valued by the New York State Office of Real Property Tax Services and non-special franchise utility parcels would continue to be valued by the New York City Department of Finance using cost indices. 9. The Commission recommends a gradual transition to the new system for current owners, with an immediate transition into the new system whenever a property in the new residential class is sold. The Commission recommends that transition to the new system occur gradually for current owners, to help reduce disruptions from reform, and with the aim of mitigating abrupt impacts to the real estate market. During this transition period, the Commission recommends that if a property is sold, its tax bill will be reset to equal its tax bill under the new system, i.e., it will be fully trans t owned into the new system. Numerous other jurisdictions have property tax systems whereby the assessed value is Reset upon the sale of a property. Point seven two. The Commission recognizes there are policy trade offs involved in changing a system as long standing as the Kerr rent property tax system. An expeditious transition could be disruptive to tax bills and market conditions, therefore, justifying gradual implementation. However, the longer the adjustment period, the slower would be the move toward overall fairness and the accrual of benefits for those with lower tax bills. 10. The Commission recommends instituting comprehend side reviews of the property tax system every 10 years. The Commission recommends that the city convene a group of experts to re-evaluate the property tax system ev. every 10 years to ensure that the property tax system content UES to meet policy goals and needs. 72 C. Lincoln Institute of Land Policy and Minnesota Center for Fiscal Excellence 50 State Property Tax Comparison Study. Available at https colon slash slash www.lincolnance.edu slash sites slash default slash files slash pub files slash 50 dash state dash property dash tax dash comparison dash for dash 2018 dash full underscore underscore o dot pdf 68 New York City Advisory Commission on Property Tax Reform Preliminary Report Glossary of Terms Abatement A Direct Reduction in Real Value in a Base Year these purport property tax liability through a cred tie-ins establish the basis for the distri. It, rather than an indirect reduction bution of the tax levy among the four, through an exemption in taxable as tax classes, assessed value, the city has a number of abatement programs, including the billable assessed value, BAV, the J51 housing rehabilitation abatement, assessed value on which tax liability is the senior citizen rent increase X based for properties in classes 2. Emption. The lower Manhattan Revy are 4. The billable assessed value is. Utilization abatement. High. And commercial abatements and the assessed value. Coop condo tax abatement. Capitalization. The process by which. 
Actual assessed value, the assess anticipated future income and bene. Meant established for all tax classes fits are converted to a present value. And without regard to the five-year phase in requirement for most class capitalization rate, a rate of return to an all class four properties used to produce the capital value of an income stream. Assessed value, AV, A properties. Assessed value is the percentage of its class levy, total levy multiplied by market value. By law, the assess the class share value of a class 1 property cannot increase by more than 6% per year a class share, the proportion of the tax. 20% over 5 years. Unless the value levy allocated to a tax class increases are due to new construct. TNA renovations. In addition, your comparable sales approach the pro. Assessed value cannot exceed 6% of CES by which a property's market value. Your home's market value is estimated based on the sales prices of similar, comparable, properties. Assessment ratio, the ratio of as. Assessed value to market value. Condominium, a form of ownership that combines individual ownership of. Assessment role.